Welcome back to CT3, where we highlight three clips and I'll recap with a few educational pointers to ensure your rights aren't violated on your next encounter with a cop. The channels being featured today are... I'm not answering any questions. I just want to be left alone. That's fine, sir. Can I have an identification? For what? You know who I'm talking to? I don't want you to know who you're talking to. I don't need to know who you are. No, sir. I don't. Now, Arkansas is one of the 15 ID states of so Obama. There is no way you believe that. Do you have your ID? If I can. Do you have your ID? If I commit it. If you don't have your ID. No. If okay. I commit it. And you say you live around here, right? Is that what you're telling me? If I commit a crime. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you won't miss the next episode. Also, the link to these awesome channels are in the description. So if you're looking for updates or just want to show them love, don't hesitate to check out their channels. Go ahead and gently smash that like button so this video will spread and help put an end to police misconduct and also helps educate the uneducated. Let's get right into it. What's up, dude? Is this, I mean, this car's left on. Oh, cool. I think you left your car on, brother. No, my car is not. Oh, the dash is blinking stuff. Does it just do that all day? It does. Oh, I didn't know that. Is it a solid with the police department? What's your name? Cool. I'm Justin. Nice to meet you, man. Did he ask about the ID? I can say. No, sir. I don't. No, I mean, no. Arkansas is one of the 15 ID states of so Biden. There is no way yes. you believe that. Be, all right. Since you're starting off this way, do you have somewhere higher than you? Because I promise you that's not correct, and you're going to get your whole town into a lawsuit. And I don't want to go that way. I've been having a great day. You sure. don't want to go that way either. But if you just tell me your name. I'm not telling you my name. I'll tell you my first name, and we're stopping there, and I'm not answering any more questions. Okay. If you want to ID me unlawfully, you're going to lose your job and your qualified immunity. I'm going to ask you what you're doing. I'm working on a story. For who you with? I'm an independent journalist. What's your name? Solomon. Lieutenant Solomon. Solomon? Yes, sir. Do not think. This is not. There is no such thing as a stop and ID state. There is no such thing. That is a term. Okay. That is a. Let, okay. Let me explain something to you. Can I explain something? I'll to listen you? to you. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. This day and time, there's all sorts of things going on. This day and time is a terrible um, thing because we are in one of the most safest times to date in world history. Tell me a safer time in world history than, than right now. Okay. So, just, so don't say in this day and time, because right. cops always say that, and it's stupid. Okay. So, so it, you, you can start over, though, if you want to. Let me, let me just put it like this. Yep. You know, if we see somebody looking at our police cars. Come talk to me, sure. But don't, but don't threaten to arrest me if sure. I don't give you my no, ID. I, I, didn't, I didn't threaten to arrest you. You just me. did, no, brother. I, I just said Arkansas is one of the 15 out of the states. That's I'm not correct. A, a demand or request. Nope, you that's not correct. Get a lawyer out here. If you think that's true, you need to look into it because you're going to get yourself in trouble. That is not true. And I'm a thousand percent positive and I can show you case law and Supreme Court rulings and everything. A hundred percent. More or less, we're just concerned about what you're doing. Well, do not think that you yeah. can just stop and ID anyone you want. You're going to get yourself in trouble and you're non constitutional. You are unconstitutional. Well, with what's going on, I mean, it's you are un No, if you think you can do that, yeah, you, you don't believe in the Fourth Amendment if you think you can do that. Do you know what the Fourth Amendment is, sir? What is it? You know, please say what's the, what's like the Fourth that? Amendment? I mean, no, no, no. This is important to everybody that you know the Fourth Amendment. What is sure, it? Sure, I know it. Every so, what is it? Know it? What is it? The right, the right of freedom. <laughs> No way you no just said speech. that. No, that's the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's the, what I'm saying, the First Amendment. No, the First Amendment. Right bro, to what's the Fourth and, Amendment? Okay. All right, just, the, um, oh, my God, dude, and you're a lieutenant? Is your chief here? No, he's off. Today. We need someone to teach you what the Fourth Amendment is. Fourth Amendment. What is it? My, my question is, what is the, just, no, okay, what what's the five elements of the First Amendment? There's um, there's just, five we elements. Just, we just had some there's concern. five elements of the First and Amendment. No, I have some concerns and questions for you. There's five elements of the First Amendment. What are they? Well, I'm going to go ahead What are they, that. sir? What's the Fourth Amendment? You don't know any of it. If you don't you need to go study the Constitution, and until you do, don't say a word to me, please. Go back inside, look up the Constitution, and read those rights and learn them. Memorize them, then come out. Other than that, you don't know what you're doing or what you're talking about, and you don't need to be a lieutenant. And I'm sorry I'm getting mad, but that is ridiculous. You should be ashamed of yourself for not knowing the First or the Fourth. Walk of shame right there, and it's deserved. The random patriot knowledge of his rights played a crucial role in this encounter by understanding the legal requirements for a lawful stop and ID request. He was able to protect himself from an unlawful seizure. This knowledge also served as a check on the officer's actions, ensuring that law enforcement operates within constitutional bounds. 
The Supreme Courts have consistently ruled that the mere act of filming in public does not constitute suspicious activity. So the officer's initial request for ID lacked a lawful basis. If you're ever approached by an officer, be aware of your legal rights and the limitations of the officer's authority. By calmly and confidently asserting your rights, you can prompt the officer to reconsider the legality of his request, like the random patriot displays on this clip. This encounter exemplifies the critical balance between police authority and individual freedoms, emphasizing the importance of vigilance and education in upholding civil liberties. Let's continue. What's up, boss? How are you? Hey, can I help you? How you doing? Can I help you, sir? Are you stranded or...? Is there a reason why you're asking me questions? Well, you're parked on the side of the road. Is that so illegal? Make sure you're not, make sure you're not uh, disabled or anything like that. I don't think that's the reason. Why did you put your lights on? You just saw a well, black guy here and just decided... For your safety mind, when I come behind you, I'm going to put my lights on. I'm safe. I'm in the car and I'm parked legally. Okay. You think that's safe I'm enough? I'm not parked illegally. I'm, I think you're lying. What is the real reason why you're here? To make sure that you're okay and not disabled, that you may need a tow or something like that. I don't, think, all the time. I don't think that's the reason. You know that's not the reason. So okay. can you, you, know, you mind stop lying and just get to the point? Why are you here? Well, that's my first reason. The other reason is there was a complaint earlier that you uh, may have exchanged words with somebody earlier. Is that illegal? That is not illegal. So then why... Make sure everything was okay. I don't want... Okay, listen, I don't, I don't want to be approached, to okay? My day was already... Messed up, and I just want to be left alone. That's that is it. Completely fine. That is completely fine. You are parked legally on the side of the road. Nothing wrong with that. I just want to make sure everything was okay. Is yeah, you're drawing attention to me by turning your lights on you want there. Any complaint signed against the person that you had words with? Allegedly, right? What's that? Allegedly, did did you? Oh, uh, well, I did. I did not take the report. I was just okay. I was just told to come in the area. Um, cause they had taken your plate down. So I'm just checking it out. If you don't want to sign complaints against them or, or talk to me about that, Let's that's see. completely fine. You're doing nothing wrong sitting here on the side of the road. I, I want nothing to do with any racist people out here. And I'm referring I'm to not, whatever I'm individual. Not, I'm, not racist, sir. I'm not saying you, did I say you? Job just to check out to make sure everything's good. I never said you were the racist. If I, I never identified you. I said, I want nothing to do with any racists out here. Okay. okay. So right, I just want to be left do you, alone. Do you live here in this development? I'm not answering any questions. Does he live here in the development? I don't know. I didn't speak to him. So then why are you asking me these questions? I don't want to answer any because questions. This is kind of a private... Private what? Sem se Semi-private. There's only an entrance and an exit. Is this a public street? It is a public so street. So then it's That's not private then. Is that a is that a, um, a fire hydrant? A fire hydrant? I don't know where you're from. Right over there. Is that a red fire hydrant? Yeah, there's a red fire hydrant. Okay, so who puts fire hydrants up? What's that? Who, who puts the fire hydrants there? Is it a state state one fire hydrant? I don't know what kind of fire hydrant that is. Well, listen, you, well, then you probably need to go research it. I need to be left alone. I'm not doing anything wrong. If you want to go talk to someone, you can probably talk to listen, whoever's in those other cars, told okay? That you had some sort of exchange with somebody. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure you're good to go. I'm not answering any questions. I just want to be left yeah, alone. No, that's fine then. Can I get a CAD number, please? A CAD number? Yes, for the call. Uh, I'd have to go to back to my computer. Sure. There's no tread here. Some identification? For what? To know who I'm talking to? I don't want you to know who you're talking to. I don't need to know who you are. As a matter of fact, I do need to know who you are. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Sinisi 1152. Which department are you with? Mawa Police Department. Oh, where is that located? 221 Franklin Turnpike. Okay. And is this individual who's coming here your supervisor? He is not my supervisor. Can he identify himself to me, please? Can he identify? You'd have to ask him. I can't tell him to do anything. Yo, Officer Berger, one one eight four. Okay, and you were the same department? Yeah, Mama Police Department. Okay, are you are you guys on the same level? Are you a supervisor? No. Okay, okay. I would like to be left alone. All right, sir. Can I just uh, ask you about? Well, because I, I want to get your side because somebody came in. I have. And I have reported, those... like a dispute and said that you made threats. I just want to get your side so I can do a report on it. I don't answer any questions. If that person said I made threats, have them provide you with evidence and take me to court i have my evidence too okay so i'm not gonna say any questions okay that's i just want to be left alone that's what i told you from the beginning did i not 
told me what? No, you told me that you're here to check and see if I'm okay, if I need any assistance. And I know that's well, not the bottom. The side of the road, and it's not, it's not that far Do you off, stop at every safe. car that's parked to the side of the road and ask them, here, are you disabled? How often do you do that? Not you know that. often, actually. We get calls all the time for that. You didn't get a call for this. You don't have to butter me up. You know, you can I'm come and tell me the you. truth. I'm not buttering you up. Yes, don't approach me with a lie. Just come and tell me the truth. Hey, I'm we not. got a call. You're not interested in my safety, and you and I both know my safety is not your concern, according to the Supreme Court. According to the Supreme Court? Okay, very good. It's not All right, well, if you don't want to talk to the officer about the, ish the situation, you seem to be good to go. So no, I would no just like the card number so you I can go. Number, yeah, so I can get the call. Get the Thank number. you very much. Yes, sir. All I wanted was to just follow up with you. Obviously, if something was reported to us, I always get both sides before I do a report. Uh, All right. If you don't want to speak to me, that's no, fine. No, no. I don't want so, to report to, with my name on it. But okay, no problem. That individual is a racist, and I want nothing with my name next to his name, okay. or my with anything with, regarding me Listen, next I to him. Listen, I understand that. That's why so, you know. I just wanted to you know see if, if you had anything to add. The incident, Listen, uh, if, anything me, so if anything comes speak, up in the uh, future, I took video too. Okay. So we can move from there, okay? I'll have my company lawyer deal with him, and we can take it from there okay. when the time comes. What? Here's your number. Yeah. Oh, well, sorry. I got it. No, All right, sir. All right. Have a good day, then. You too. Stopping a man already parked on the side of a public road disregards the individual's right to be in public spaces without harassment. Officers must be trained to understand and respect the legal limits of their authority. When they fail to do so, they not only violate individuals' rights, but also expose their departments to legal challenges and diminish their credibility. These officers didn't push the issue, but how would LAC Audit ID help in this investigation? Unjustified stops and ID requests have already eroded the trust in law enforcement officers. The relationship between the police and the community in America is a difficult one for many reasons. Cops asking for identification in every single encounter is one of the biggest reasons. Public roads and other public spaces are accessible to all individuals who are not violating any laws. Asking someone why they are parked in a public area when there is no indication of criminal activity, you are the problem. Remember, public spaces are for everyone. Let's continue. Do you live around here? Of course I do. Okay, let me see your ID. So since you oh, around for here. what? What do you, you need say? Some? You live around here. Let me see your ID. What you need? Some I'm security around here. What, what crime did I commit? I'm security around. Here. So what crime did I commit? You sitting around here with an open container. What an open container? Here, so you what? You where? Where's where the open container? You got your ID? Where's the open container? You don't have your ID. Where's the open container? Do you have your ID? If I if, do you if, have your ID? If I do you have your ID? If I commit do you have your ID? If I commit it, if you don't have your ID, no. If I commit a crime, you say you live around here, right? Is that what you're telling if me? If I commit I'm a crime. Point. You say you live around here, right? What crime did I commit? You say you live around here? What crime did I commit? You say you live around here. Do it matter? You told me you said you, said you live around here, right? Do it matter, though? You got yours on, I got mine on. You said you live around here, right? Yours ain't even facing. It is on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your shit facing right now. By tomorrow. Yo, yeah, you your shit facing right now. Right you right you right I'll show you something. Hey, you see, I, hey, see how I put them in the place? Know your rights right now. Yeah, and that's all you need right here. That's all you need. Yeah, man. That's all you need to put them in their place. Yeah, man. Oh. Now you're being disordered. That's how you put them in their okay, place. You yeah, man. Stop letting, you cry. Stop letting them scare you like that. Stop you letting them. Oh, no. I don't want y'all to know that. You go now. Stop letting them scare you like that. All you need is this right here. Yeah, man. What's the badge number? What's this? Watch this. What's your badge number, sir? What is it? What's your badge what number? What is it? Tell me. It's the one. It's the one. Tell me one. your badge it's number. What's this? What's this, Craig? What's your badge it's number? One that's what is your badge? What is your badge hey, number? I'm where is your badge I'm number? I'm your security. Where right I don't give a f I, I, What am I doing? Where is your badge number? I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where is your you badge you number? What is your? Okay, so you you can't tell me your badge number? You not? You go. You will be a Mr. Sanders. Sergeant for, Sanders. For what? For what? For you, what? For what? You sitting on here loitering for in what? with a drinking in public? And if you're not, hey, here, know your rights. Okay. Know your rights. No, 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 That's all no, I want you to do. Know your rights. That sounds good. Well, oh, oh, that's a threat. Officer, that's a threat. When a police officer works security at a low-income apartment complex and forces residents to show ID to prove they live there, it reflects a problematic and harmful approach to policing. This tactic not only infringes on individual rights, but also increases the tensions between law enforcement and the community. This clip shows the importance of a poverty-stricken community being educated on their constitutional rights. When residents are informed about their rights,
They are better equipped to resist and report unlawful or abusive practices. The officer's behavior raises serious legal and ethical concerns. Threatening eviction without due process is not only morally wrong, but also potentially illegal. Such threats create an environment of fear and intimidation. Residents should feel safe and secure in their homes, not threatened by the very individuals sworn to uphold their rights. Seeing Mr. Tunstall stand up for his rights while encouraging others to take notes is a great day in America. But that's going to do it for this video. Much love to these awesome creators. Again, make sure you use the links in the description to go check out their channels and show them some love. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next episode. If you made it this far, thank you so much. You're the real CT3 fam. And without you, there's no CT3. Remember, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. And until next time, peace.